Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. Pleasure. So congratulations. Thank Are you recovered from Sunday from the Golden Globes? <laughs> that was a tough recovery, actually. The Globes okay. always is because it's just so much fun. It's a when, lot of fun. When you go to an event like that, who are you excited to see? Um, well, there's so many people. I was like, Billie Eilish, come on. Really? That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Billie Eilish. Um, I was really excited to see Issa Rae, who I've seen before, but I, I kept telling her she looked the be most beautiful of all. So every time I went by her, I was like, number one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it was just a room full of people you want to talk to. Robert mm -hmm. Downey was so excited for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it was cool. a really, really big night. So you've been in the business for quite some time. You've had extraordinary longevity. When you come to a premiere for a project that you worked on, does it hit a little bit different after all these years? You know, this one's special because I love it so much. Um, and it really did feel like a family. It, it felt, yeah, a little bit, it felt a little bit like the way it did with Sounds of the Lambs, where you read the script and you feel like, oh, meaningful, deep. If we pull this off, this could be something that I'll be proud of my whole life. Mm -hmm. And then just, like dominoes, every single person that comes aboard feels the same way, and you do the best work of your life. I mean, I, I kind of feel like that's what happened on this one. So it's a special one. It probably won't ever happen again. Um, everybody needs to see it, and then they'll they'll experience what we experienced. What did you love about this character? Oh, she's so mean. She's awful. I love that about her. She's just <laughs> awful and relentlessly so, and yet by the end of it, you know, she's she's she would do anything for her partner, I think. Um, and you see where it all comes from. Mm -hmm. We have felt so connected to you over the years because of all the beautiful work that you've done, Jody, Thank you. and been, you know, so just following along. We watched you raise your kids. Yeah. We've also, what I really admired about you is you shared recently that you were really unhappy in Hollywood and had to step away and go be a mom. Well, I don't know if I was because I was unhappy in Hollywood. I think I periodically just need to step away. I think mm. you don't have anything to say if you just keep working, working, working uh, back to back and you kind of forget who you really are. Um, so I've had moments where I've had different priorities. I direct as well, so there are moments where I've just directed and not acted, um, and where I've had to make room for that. Um, but yeah, I didn't miss the doctor's appointment. I didn't miss one time where they ever bought shoes, which is kind of amazing, because they do buy a lot of shoes. But um, I just didn't want to look back and feel like I missed it. That's really special. How's being a mom changed you? Well, I mean, in every way possible. It's just, uh, it's the most creative thing that ever happened to me, really. Um, and now to have the relationships that I have with my boys, you know, 25 and 22, where they come over and they're like, can I borrow a charger? Or, or I'm just going to play on my computer for a while while we watch Rachel Maddow. You know, it's just, it's special. It's great. Do they come visit you when you work on set? Never. Although my son, my younger son did come to Iceland on the coldest day we ever had. So <laughs> I felt bad about that, that that was the five days that he chose to come was like the coldest yeah. moment. Um, but we did get to see some good sights. Finally, there was an article recently in Elle magazine and you said, after all these years, you don't feel like you have anything to prove. Uh, I, not in the business, I, in other things I do, because I'm, sure. I'm really behind. There's a lot of things I'm really behind about. You know, I, I spent a lot of years traveling around and making films and I didn't meet a lot of people that were my age when I was younger, so I had to like catch up, right. I think, in the friend department, being a good friend. Mm -hmm. Somehow I missed out on that mm -hmm. because everybody gives you a pass when yeah. you're making movies. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I had to I had to grow up. Yeah.